those who make the worst use of their time, are the first to complain of its brevity. Two persons cannot long be friends, if they cannot forgive each other's little failings. Life is a tragedy for those who feel, and a comedy for those who think. The pleasure of criticizing, takes away from us the pleasure of being moved by some very fine things. Such a great misfortune, not to be able to be alone. There are only three events in a man's life. Birth, life, and death. He is not conscious of being born. He dies in pain, and he forgets to live. We keep a special place in our hearts for people who refuse to be impressed by us. The most exquisite pleasure is giving pleasure to others. Sudden love takes the longest time to be cured. When a book raises your spirit, and inspires you with noble and manly thoughts, seek for no other test of its excellence. It is good, and made by a good workman. The unnamed should not be mistaken for the non-existent. Most men make use of the first part of their life, to render the last part miserable. Out of difficulties, grow miracles. If some persons died, and others did not die, death would indeed be a terrible affliction. The same principle leads us to neglect a man of merit, that induces us to admire a fool. If poverty is the mother of all crimes, lack of intelligence is their father. The very essence of politeness is to take care that by our words and actions, we make other people pleased with us, as well as with themselves. A wise man is cured of ambition by ambition itself. His aim is so exalted that riches, office, fortune, and favor cannot satisfy him. We can recognize the dawn and the decline of love by the uneasiness we feel when alone together. One seeks to make the loved one entirely happy, or, if that cannot be, entirely wretched. The pleasure of criticism takes away from us the pleasure of being deeply moved by very fine things. Generosity lies less in giving much, than in giving at the right moment. Time, which strengthens friendship, weakens love. If it is true, that one is poor on account of all the things one wants, the ambitious and the avaricious, languish in extreme poverty. Not to be able to bear, with all bad-tempered people with whom the world is crowded, shows that a man has not a good temper himself. We are afraid of the old age which we may never attain. Grief at the absence of a loved one, is happiness compared to life with a person one hates. 
A man is rich whose income is larger than his expenses, and he is poor if his expenses are greater than his income. There is no road too long to the man who advances deliberately and without undue haste. There are no honors too distant to the man who prepares himself for them with patience. Everything has been said and we are more than 7,000 years of human thought too late. That we seldom repent of talking too little and very often of talking too much is a maxim that everybody knows and nobody practices. To laugh at men of sense is the privilege of fools. A person's worth in this world is estimated according to the value they put on themselves. No vice exists which does not pretend to be more or less like some virtue, and which docks not take advantage of this assumed resemblance. As favor and riches forsake a man, we discover in him the foolishness they concealed, and which no one perceived before. The same common sense which makes an author write good things, makes him dread they are not good enough to deserve reading. We should only endeavor to think and speak correctly ourselves, without wishing to bring others over to our taste and opinions. This would be too great an undertaking. All of our unhappiness comes from our inability to be alone. Men are willing to be slaves in one place, if they can only lord it in another. A man reveals his character, even in the simplest things he does. There are some men who turn a deaf ear to reason and good advice, and willfully go wrong for fear of being controlled. Time makes friendship stronger, but love weaker. There is a false modesty, which is vanity. A false glory, which is levity. A false grandeur, which is meanness. A false virtue, which is hypocrisy. And a false wisdom, which is prudery. Nothing keeps longer than a middling fortune, and nothing melts away sooner than a large one. The shortest and best way to make your fortune is to let people see clearly that it is in their interest to promote yours. If it be true that a man is rich who wants nothing, a wise man is a very rich man. There is no excess in the world so commendable as excessive gratitude. When a woman doesn't take her eyes off a man or takes them away from him all the time, everyone immediately understands what it means. If this life is unhappy, it is a burden to us which it is difficult to bear. If it is in every respect happy, it is dreadful to be deprived of it. So that in either case the result is the same. For we must exist in anxiety and apprehension. It is a great misfortune neither to have enough wit to talk well, nor enough judgment to be silent. Children have neither past nor future. They enjoy the present, which very few of us do. Caprice in woman is the antidote to beauty. 
A party spirit betrays the greatest men to act as meanly as the vulgar herd. The spendthrift robs his heirs, the miser robs himself. Next to sound judgment, diamonds and pearls are the rarest things in the world. Women become attached to men by the intimacies they grant them. Men are cured of their love by the same intimacies. The exact contrary of what is generally believed is often the truth. A coxcomb is one whom simpletons believe to be a man of merit.